Welcome back to our channel. This week's episode starts off in Buckins, Newfoundland. We drove around the town to explore before continuing to head down toward Gander. We briefly stopped in Gander before continuing toward Terra Nova National Park. We climbed a scary fire tower, did a hike, and jumped back in the van to keep exploring. We made our way to Bonavista, where we ended up spending the night. We hope you enjoy this week's episode. Make sure to subscribe if you're new here and give us a like and leave a comment with any questions. We are in Gander now. We were in Buckins earlier and um, we flew the drone, drove around the town because we had actually just stayed outside of Buckins, but when we had stayed the night, it was dark and we didn't want to drive through the town. So we did that this morning and it was really interesting to see. It's an old mining town, so there's lots of old infrastructure and things to see there. But yeah, so now we're in Gander and we are going to stay at a campground get some food, do some laundry, get some water, kind of just like stock up on a few things before we keep going. Um, and we haven't really done much here. We walked around the North Atlantic Aviation Museum, um, but we wanted to get to our campsite early so we can get all of our chores done. So, boring night, but that's where we're at. So, we'll catch you guys tomorrow morning.
All right, guys. Um, we just stopped here for lunch. Uh, we were able to fly the drone, kind of show you guys exactly where we are. Uh, the coastline here is really interesting to look at because it actually is very, rather smooth. The rocks kind of transition nicely into the water, almost as if you could walk kind of into the water there, but uh, the waves the waves are still quite big. But uh, anyway, we're gonna head towards Terra Nova National Park and spend the night near there. Uh, we do plan to wake up tomorrow morning and do a hike before you know midday. So we'll see how far we get. Anyway, catch you guys there. Welcome back guys, um, sorry about the highway if you can hear that, this is where we stayed last night. Um, we had hopes on staying at a very nice grassy river, which is honestly, it's really pretty. We'll probably show you guys a clip just as we leave here, but um, anyway, didn't work out. There's a no camping sign there. So almost across the road from where we found the uh, boat launch, we found this, I don't even know what I'd call this. It's almost like a big parking lot. I don't know. It's something someone obviously spent some time clearing and making flat with no trees at one point in time. But there's no sign of anybody being here anytime recently. So anyway, the van is working amazingly so far. Tires, we are extremely happy we went with these tires. More so just got off-road or all-terrain tires because uh, Sometimes where you want to stay at night, you've got to go down a dirt road and that dirt road sometimes turns into a rocky path, which is what we found yesterday. Anyway, today we're going to Terra Nova National Park. So we'll bring you guys along for the ride. We're going to go to Terra Nova, do maybe a hike or two. Let's get started here. So um, we've got the park pass, we're good to go. So we're, uh, we're just making some lunch here. It's a uh, big, big lunch this time. We're making a single can of beans. <laughs> so living van life is luxury at the least. So nah, I shouldn't say that. Last night we had a uh, very nice, what do we have, chicken stir fry? Didn't eat dinner last night. Well, we had chicken stir fry the other day. So anyway, we're, um, we're not really sure what hike we're gonna do. We just spoke to the uh, employees inside there and they recommended two or three different hikes. Um, anyway, we're gonna eat lunch and uh, get back on the road, drive to the trailhead and see you guys then.
It's ridiculous. Wow. But the view is pretty cool. The fire tower, which is where we're standing on right now, surprisingly has no gate at the bottom, but there's a big gate at the top. So you can go to the top, you just can't go any further. So anyway, All right, guys, so uh, <laughs> we just climbed the fire tower. We're currently sitting um, basically just beside the fire tower. There's this little look-off spot. I think this is what people are supposed to climb. Um, but anyway, they've got plexiglass walls on here. So this is kind of the only time I think the camera might be able to pick our voices up. But uh, anyway, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful view. It's honestly incredible. Um, so this is not actually the trail we're going to be hiking. This is just kind of the end of the road, hence the fire tower. Uh, just a spot that they have here where they can kind of monitor the land. So you can see for miles. And uh, so uh, we're going to go about a kilometer back down the road to the trailhead. We're going to do Ochre Hill. Uh, I don't think it's too, too long of a hike. Uh, it is actually a loop. We looked on the map. A lot of these trails, it's one way in, same way out. So we're going to do a loop. We'll catch you guys. And the van heading down to the trailhead. We just finished the Ochre Hill hike, so we're back in the van now, but they were doing construction. They were putting in new signs for the hike. We kind of jumped in the van and left, so we weren't in their way, but the hike was nice. Do you want to say anything? No. It's, uh, our trip across Newfoundland, honestly, it's been, uh, it's, it's been a blast so far. We're really enjoying it, and uh, the people here, they're, they're quite amazing, really. They're all super nice. And the fellow back there who was doing the construction, he actually knew some of our family friends back home. So, small world. So um, right now we're, we're just gonna leave the national park. Uh, I don't think it's a crazy big national park, so it shouldn't be too long. And then we're gonna make our way out the Bonavista Peninsula um, to just basically do that road. So, uh, take you guys along with us. What Probably time get some, is it? It's only two o'clock. Catch you guys uh, in a little bit. Well, we are in Bonavista and we just finished some dinner at Mifflin's Tea Room. It's just that little building there. Um, it was super good, um, like very classic home cooked food and we didn't really want to cook anything. So it was super easy. And now we are heading to our campsite. There's actually quite a few places here that are like logged as campsites on iOverlander. I think there's six in the, on yeah, this little there's, point. There's at least five, yeah. 
So we're probably just gonna drive past them and see which one we wanna go to. Good morning everyone. We are at Dungeon Provincial Park. That's where we stayed last night. We just stayed like over there a little bit. This is where like the actual monument of the park is, which is a big hole, which is actually kind of cool. Um, this might not be the right lens, but you can see there's like two little openings. That's where the water comes in and then it's just kind of like a big crater, but the water looks very blue and Nick's just going to get the drone uh, to film because it's not too windy we haven't been able to fly it a bunch because it's like everywhere when you're like on the coast it's just super windy um, so we haven't really flown it a ton but hopefully we'll be able to fly it down in there that might be pretty cool to see
Look at all the sheep and the goats. Hi everybody. Oh my god. Why they think it's a good idea to run around essentially a cliff, I couldn't tell you. So we just got back in the van, um, we're at Dungeon Provincial Park, uh, we're actually going to head out of here now and get going towards the Avalon Peninsula which will be our next video so make sure you tune in for that. Um, we're going to see some cool things, we're going to go to some historic sites, uh, we'll stop in St. John's and kind of see what we can get done on that peninsula so see you guys next week.